Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shilu's Updates. How to draw foundation for a plan of a house in AutoCAD 2022. Let's get started. First we have to draw a line of about 4 feet. Type L in your command box. Press Enter. Specify first point and type here as 4 feet. Press Enter. Now give 1 feet 9 inches. 1 feet 9 inches. Press Enter. Next trace this line. Click this point and join here. Now press Escape key. Select this line. Take offset. So type O in your command box. Press Enter. Specify offset distances 6 inches and press Enter. Click inside. Now press escape key. This portion is for sand and this portion is for PCC, plain cement concrete 1 is to 4 is to 8. Next step is go to rectangle or type REC in your command box. Specify first point. Click here dimensions and give here as 2 feet 6 inches Enter. And height is 1 feet 2 inches. Press Enter. Now we have to move this rectangle to this midpoint. Type M in your command box. Press Enter. Select this object. Again press Enter. Now pick this midpoint and move here. Again go to rectangle. Specify first corner point. Here click dimensions and give length as 1 feet 9 inches, press Enter and width of rectangle as 1 feet 2 inches, press Enter. Now we have to move this rectangle to this midpoint. Type M in your command box, press Enter, select this object, press Enter. Now pick this midpoint and move it here. Go to rectangle, specify first corner point, click dimensions and give the dimension as 1 feet 3 inches as length, press Enter, 2 feet 6 inches as width, press Enter. Again select this rectangle, we have to move this rectangle to this midpoint. Type M in your command box, press Enter, specify this midpoint and move it here. Again go to rectangle, specify first corner point, select this dimension and give the dimension of wall as 9 inches as length, press Enter and you can give the wall height as per your wish. I am going to give the height of wall as 2 feet 6 inches. Press Enter. Now select this rectangle. You can also move this rectangle by using control keys in your keyboard. Plus you have to use the arrow keys. In this way you can move this rectangle to the center point. Now we can use the hatch command. Here you can see the hatch tool or you can type H in the command box, press Enter. Now this is the sand portion. So I am going to select here sand, A or sand. Q here is 2, press Enter. Again select this hatch tool. Now we have to give concrete. So select this A or concrete. Click here. Click here. That's it. Go to hatch tool. We have to indicate the wall using hatch command. So I am going to use this ANSI32. Give here as 15. 
and click close hatch creation. Next step is we have to mark the dimension of this foundation. Go to dimension, first point, second point. Move to here. Up to this portion is ground level. We have to indicate ground level in this foundation. Go to line tool. From this point draw a line and give 2 feet. You can give as per your wish. I am giving here 2 feet. Press enter. Again from this point draw a line of about 2 feet. Press enter. We can move this dimension line to this place. Here we have to indicate the plinth level. Go to line tool. From this point draw a line of about 2 feet 3 inches. Press enter. Again go to line tool. From this point draw a line of about 2 feet 3 inch. Press enter. This level is ground level. Go to text and you have to type here. as G. Next copy this text. Type CO in the command box. Press enter. Specify base point and you have to copy here. Double click this text. Now you can edit as L. Click outside. Again copy this text. Type CO in the command box. Press enter. Specify base point. You can Click here. Double click. Here type as P. Plinth level. Click outside. Copy this text. Specify base point and you can click here. So this is ground level. This is plinth level. Above this plinth level we have to provide damp proof course. And the thickness of damp proof course can be between 1.5 inches to 2 inches. Go to line tool. From this point give 2 inches. Press enter. 9 inches. Press enter. Then join this point. So here we have mentioned the damp proof course. Go to hatch command. Solid. And fill here. And this is the damp proof course. We have to mark this dimension also. 2 inches. This brickwork will be continued. So we have to mark here like this. Type TR in the command box. Double enter. Trim this line. Select this line tool. In this way you have to mention the wall because this wall is going to be continued. Now we have to type the text here. Copy this text. Here you have to type as sand. So double click. Edit this as sand. Click outside. Now move this text by using control key in your keyboard plus use the arrow keys to left side. Now select this text. Type CO in the command box. Press enter. Double click this text and type here as PCC and give here the ratio as 1 is to 4 is to 8. Click outside. Now move this text to left side by using control key plus arrow keys. Now select this text, type CO in the comment box, 
specify base point and move it here. Double click this text and type here as RCC. Here you have to give us 1 is to 2 is to 4 ratio. And click outside. Now trim these two lines. Type TR in the command box. Double enter. Now we can trim this line and trim this line that's it now let's see how to save this drawing press ctrl p in your keyboard select autocad pdf high quality print here select iso a4 210 into 297 mm portrait window now from this point To this point select ok click save now our foundation pdf is ready i hope this video is helpful to you if you want this foundation of wall pdf you can check the procedure in description box thank you if you want engineer quotation for house construction free pdf you can check the procedure in the description box and if you have any doubt you can email my mail id is shinosupdates at gmail.com we are doing 3d elevation design work at really affordable cost with unique design if you want you can contact 93539 you can check our Facebook page Kartik Designs also in that page you have posted the recent design also Thank you.